Okay, this is Aaron again with Exalted Lamb 1, and I have my part 3 to the USS Abraham Lincoln and Truman to be attacked. Um, so if you haven't watched the first two parts, please watch those. Or also, if you can, watch some of my series that before with the uh, 12 episodes that give you some more background of some of this stuff. And I've been doing this for about a year and almost five months. Um, since I've been shown, since I was shown that these things are coming, so these attacks that are about to happen are going to be bam, bam, bam. Okay, they're going to hit people very hard. And what I think I've found um, in all this and this whole time, and learning every every step of the way, making mistakes, and you know, trying to figure out what this time frame would be, um, is going to be first the attacks on the Abraham Lincoln and Truman. That will, I believe I'm showing here, will be uh, on New Year's Day. So maybe early in the morning, for going from New Year's Eve to New Year's Day. And at the same time, possibly, it's probably um, uh, getting rid of uh, the head of our country um, that was just impeached. Um, and I'm going to have a, I have a new name for him as well, <laughs> uh, without saying his name, because I just don't want this uh, more shadow band or whatever i'm trying to find ways to get, for this to get out to more people so i'm trying not to say certain things if possible um and then the next one will be uh, a few days later will be the mega tsunamis that will hit both coasts that are will be uh, pre the, this is all pre-planned by the elites that are working behind the scenes um to do all this stuff and world war three is about to kick off starting with the attacks of the carriers and the attack of the the head of this uh country um, and that kind of stuff. So, um, and then after the tsunamis, a couple days later will be the final nuclear, um, destruction of the United States as well. So and I'm going to get into that here as well. So, um, the 1212 that you see here uh, was a birth and it was a kind of a foreshadowing birth of the, the antichrist, which is I, who I call stinky BO, um, the former head of this country, uh, I call Stinky B.O., okay, um, and he uh, basically is signaled all over the place in this little video, iPad Goat 2, um, that he is the, the one it's talking about, the revealing of the Antichrist and the birth of the Antichrist. Um, it's also softly t showing a birth of another being, which is a baby that the Antichrist is trying to eat as a dragon, because he's the dragon, um, and that is the man-child birth into heaven, which is in the egg in iPad Goat. So this is the birth of the Antichrist, which is Jupiter, which is represented by the apple, which is also represented by the apple falling on New Year's, um, which is uh, something that happened uh, up till the 80s, uh, where the, the apple actually dropped in New York and Times Square, and then it was eventually a ball. But there was an apple that dropped. Um, and so this apple is dropping. Also on the apple is spelled backwards and upside down Hawaii, uh, as I've shown in my videos. Um, so 1212 was a kind of a foreshadowing of the birth. And there was a 13 day period of the apple roll as well. Things that happened with Obama. Um, Obama was in Hawaii during this time on the seventh and eighth day. Um, he kissed a baby, which uh, the baby's aunt called the baby uh a goat, which is the greatest of all time, of course, but Obama is the goat that's in the box um, in the beginning of iPad Goat. And he's going to be coming, in a sense, through a portal. The uh, I should say the uh, uh, the uh, Lucifer, I should say, is coming through a portal to inhabit him, okay, to be the Antichrist. So, um, and then, so that culminates to 1225 being Christmas and the, uh, flower blooming. Okay. And the flower inside the flower is 12. And then on the, there's 25, uh, petals, 1225. Now, the reason I have, uh, again, I'm just going to reiterate this for some people who don't know, um, these gold numbers after the dates here are how many days it was from, it is from the Revel, uh, the uh, I'm calling it the Golden Gate alignment that was in the in the sky, basically uh, parallel to the Golden Gate Bridge. You could see from San Francisco, um, five planets and the sun in perfect alignment, 
Um, and that, and so that's, I cover those, those are my videos. And then from that day, which was November 9th, which again is nine 11 backwards, these are the days. And so the birth was on 33, which 30 days after the golden alignment. And then this, in a sense, a, a second birth, um, was 46, which is 23 and 23 chromosomes, which represents a birth 23 for the male, 20. 23 from the female represents a birth. It's just a representation. Okay. And then we have the 12 days of Christmas, which I'm going to get into, takes you to um, January 5th. Okay. Which if you include the day, it's uh, January 5th. It's 58 days from the Revelation 12 sign. I'm sorry. Sorry. Not the the uh, Golden Gate alignment, I'm calling it. Okay. That I discovered. Uh, basically, I have confirmation of that. Um, and the, But if you you know, include if you um, add days up, it's one six. It's January six, which is the fifty eighth day. Okay, and the, why is that important? Because Stinky Bo is fifty eight years old at the time of he's going to be become the Antichrist. Okay, so um, I'm gonna get into what that the difference between one five and one six, or January first and January six as well, and why what what's up with the twelve days of Christmas and why this is so important. Okay, like I mentioned before as well in the last video. This is the anchor to me that we are in this last section of the apple roll. The birth, which is 1225, going all the way to 1-6 or January 6th, which is exactly 13 days later. Okay, and that's the number for rebellion in the Bible. It's all over the place. Um, that, and they've been looking for this day for a long time. Um, Heliofonts logo, it's the company that made iPad Go 2. It, it actually has the um, the Eclipse with Jupiter right here, okay? And I show this as an example in Stellarium. Um, that doesn't show the full eclipse here because really from my vantage point, I couldn't see it anyway, but that's the, and I should have probably put it with Saudi Arabia or something so it would be right in the center. It doesn't matter. Um, and Jupiter's right there. So that is an actual picture of the actual eclipse that happened. It looks like a golden ring. And again, that's also Jesus offering the ring to his bride as well. That's the man child birth into heaven is in a in a male or a masculine sense. It's also the uh, bride of Christ in a in a feminine sense um, and him being the bridegroom. OK, at the same time, like I've talked about in my, all my videos for over a year and almost five months, um, this is all about iPad go to and all this what's about to happen is all about two births. One birth into heaven of a man child that was represented by the Revelation 12 sign. Um, basically, 500. Uh, can I have the, Can I remember this now? I should have put this on this video and I forgot. Uh, I'm sorry, 850 some days. <laughs> well, I should have put this on the video. Oops. Well, um, there's some things I wanted to put on here, but I could, just couldn't get to it. I had to get this information out to you. And so that's the birth of Helios, which is what Heliophant means. And so this is this is the beginning, and then we have a 13-day cycle here until the, these events start happening. Okay, now, well, I should t within that cycle, things will start happening. I'm going to show you this. And like I mentioned here before, Obama is um, signaled as the AC, okay, because he uh, that you know this is, represents. Um, Jupiter represents Helios and other gods with this annual eclipse that's on his face. He's winking that he knows something about this and he knows and you don't know. Um, and then he is also purple. His tassel is purple. He is, which is really ultraviolet. He's Mr. Ultraviolet in so many ways I've shown in many of my videos. Ultraviolet is on him here. His tassel is touching the dragon. He's the dragon eating the egg. I mean, event, and then it which is from an egg shape to a praying hand. So he's eating the, the praying child. Okay. Um, and he sounds like he's laughing in a sense, but it also, if you really listen, it's, it's really eating, trying to eat the egg. And that's the dragon that's pointed to right here, trying to eat the man child before it goes into heaven, like in the, uh, Revelation 12 in the Bible. Okay. So, and this was in my last video and I go through this, but basically, um, 1225 is the birth. Technically it's not the foreshadowing of 1212, uh, but it's actually the birth. Okay. And then, um, that, and then the reveal, which is a type of birth is coming on one six or so January 6th, 5th slash six, I should say. Okay. So these are all these gods from different religions that were born on 1225 
And then, you know, like Statue of Liberty looks exactly like Sol Invictus, which, you know, this is Helio. This is the god Helios, the sun god. Statue of Liberty looks just like. Statue of Liberty happens just to be SOL, <laughs> Sol Invictus. I mean, are you kidding me? Um, it's all crazy. So, um, and then we're going from 1225 to um, 1231 today slash 1 1, which is New Year's Day. So, New Year's Eve to New Year's Day. And that's what this seems depicting some death going on during that time okay um and what is that what is one one really now this is crazy i just realized this it all came together today for me yesterday into today into today finally realized it what one one really is one one is really 11 1 19 okay so january is actually the 11th month just like i've said many times i'm gonna say it again to people who don't know um, our calendar is off by two months, the Gregorian. To the elites, this month, December, is Decem, which in, in Latin is 10. And Novem, which was the month before this month, meant 11. And then uh, Octo is, um, really, is really 8. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, Novem really means 9. Octo really means 8. Sept Septem really means seven, okay, but we know them as, as the ninth, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth months. And then January is completely different. It's a different thing, which I'm going to get into why January is called January, uh, based on the god Janus. Anyway, so um, one one is really the eleventh. January is really the eleventh month because really the new year starts in the spring, and that's what the elites believe. Just like God has set it up. Um, but they set this all up to hit this time of the birth of the um, Antichrist um, in the winter and with the winter solstice and the sun and all this stuff that's very important to them. So, um, so all this stuff hits. So January is really the 11th month. Then we have the first day. So we have 11 January, the first day of January, and then it's still 2019 because we're only on the 11th month. It has not went to 2020 yet, and it won't before all this happens. Okay, so then if you break this down, you just keep the 11, and you have a 1. 1 plus 9 is 1, so you have ultimately 11, 11. And for all you that have seen 11, 11 on clocks many times and, and in different places like I have, probably a thousand times in the last several years, and for a while, one year, it was like every, multiple times a day. It was really crazy, and God was just alerting me and alerting you that um, this is the day. This is the first attack day. I'm very confident of that now. And after this amount of time, looking at all this stuff, I have a lot of understanding that's built up. Um, this is the 1111. And then, you know, we have the Veterans Memorial that's in Anthem, uh, you know, Arizona, um, and it, which is outside of Phoenix, the birth of the Phoenix, or the rebirth of the Phoenix, I should say. Um, and it's at 1111 at 1111 a.m., and that's the sun coming through these pillars that have holes in them and then lighting up the phoenix which is the you know the seal of the united states which is really the rebirth of the phoenix and that whole thing is all about 1111 the birth of the antichrist and the destruction of the united states and 1111 is all over the place and finally i know what day it is and what it's really about it's just really crazy it's it's really redeeming to understand this stuff finally a lot of these things and um i believe this <laughs> I'm probably like 99.999% sure more than I've ever been that this time frame is finally it. Um, now, again, there's just a small percentage. I could be wrong. I'm always open that possibility. I'm not saying I'm never going to say I'm 100% right. There's always a this is a small, small, small fraction to me that I, that I could be wrong. But I think I've finally arrived here. This is really crazy. Um, so that's the destruction that will happen first. And then we have, so also I want to mention here, again, we have 1225, which is the 46th day, and then 15, which is the 58th day, and that's when the flower opens, um, and that's the attack day going into the 6th. But what's really crazy about this as well is the Julian cal calendar, and I've been looking at this for a while, um, and I for a while I thought it might be out by 11 days because I was looking at the apple roll, but then I was like 12 and I'm I'm back to that it that they are still signaling that it's 13, and it must be 13. And all my research that I've done over the last over a year and f at least for sure I've been researching the Julian calendar for a year and two months. 
and what the popes have done and and when this all happened that it the best i can come up with it is 13 days off like it's like a lot of people know and so this confirms that 100 percent that the julian counter is off by off the grid going by 13 days on purpose because we're talking about this 13 day time period that i'm talking about right now so in a sense it's the 13 days of christmas so we have the 12 days of christmas like you know of the song and that's a I'm going to get into what that is, okay? So 13 days starting on Christmas, 1225 that everybody knows is Christmas, and 13 days of Christmas ends up being 1-6, or they call it the Epiphany. So this 12 technical days, but the 13th day is called the Epiphany, and I'm going to get into what that is. Uh, but first, the first, um, so we have the birth in a sense, um, symbolically at 1225 with the uh, eclipse, Okay, that's what happened in the United States because we're talking about the destruction of the United States to begin the tribulation. We're not talking about, you know, 1226 in other parts of the world. I'm talking about what iPad Goat shows and what the beginning of the tribulation will start with the events that happen in the United States because the United States is, like the Bible says, the hammer of the world, which is Mystery Babylon. Okay, we are the nation of images, it also says about Babylon, Mystery Babylon. There's no other nation that's the nation of images. We're the nation that's surrounded by many waters. There's no other nation that comes close to that than the United States. I mean, we're surrounded by Pacific and uh, Atlantic and, I mean, the Gulf and, I mean, all kinds of stuff. It's crazy. There's nobody that comes close. With a full description of Mystery Babylon, United States nails it, and no one is more... Uh, exports more sin and more stuff to the world and paganism and uh, really Luciferian, pure Luciferianism to the world, the United States. That's why it will be destroyed. Okay, so from 1225 to 1-1 just happens to be, when you include the day, is eight, is eight days. Okay, so that's eight of the 13 I'm talking about. And then from 1-1, January 1st to January 6th is five days. Do you know where I'm going with this? I don't know. Maybe you do. If you know my videos, you may know. Backwards, that is 58. And again, like I've shown in my videos, uh, T, what am I going to call him now? I don't want to call him what I'm going to call him at the end of my video. So uh, I'll call right now, I'll call him Trumple because, and I'll give you a little bit of a clue Trumple. So Trumple, Trumple, um, Mr. Trumple. Um, he is not Mr. 58 and I've explained all the things that he's 58. It's just, it's off the charts. Um, Trump tower has 58 floors. I mean, there's so many things I've already gone over. I just don't want to go over with all of it right now, of course. Um, and then also Mr. Stinky B.O., um, he is now 58 about ready to become this person, this ace, the antichrist. Okay. So this is very apropos. Um, that this would fit this way. So from attack day to from from the eclipse to the first attack day to there's attack days in between that we have tsunamis that are going to be which I'm not covering on this video are going to be on the third and fourth on the same day but different time zones will be the mega tsunamis and I've covered those many times in my other videos but this is the timing I'm talking about. <clears throat> then one. 1-5 slash 1-6 will be the nukes that are actually, most of them are in place already in major cities. Um, as of the predictive programming I'm, I've seen for over a year, also dreams by prophets that I know of and seen and people who have had prophetic dreams, um, that these are already installed and ready to go by the elite um, and by the people who are their minions, okay? So I'm sorry, but that's what's going on. And I'm trying to warn you that Jesus wants you to know what's coming ahead of time so you know that he cares for you. And when this all happens, that he is the only hope you have whatsoever. He's the only hope that I've ever had in my life. He's turned my life around from nothing to something. Um, he's saved me in so many ways I can't even say, okay? So... He is revealing a lot of this stuff to me, and I have had tried to interpret some of the things he's revealed. And it's only till some things, so real recently, or even today, really, that I'm really starting to understand all the things together. It's really crazy. <clears throat> and even through um, a very big help right now and my support team and Sabine, who is really, um, we, we really work together uh, just really strongly, more than any other time in the last couple months, 
to really put this stuff together. So I really want to commend and thank you, Sabine, for everything you've done. Um, I wouldn't be here without you. And I certainly wouldn't be here in this understanding without my subscribers, people that have commented and given me all kinds of things, not only tips, but information, details um, that have caused me to look at different places, even, you know, some solves and some understanding that I would have never had um, added to what the Lord's given me. Um, it's just been phenomenal to get here. So th this may be my last video. That's why I'm saying this stuff. I'm so thankful to everybody. And if I haven't said thank you to you, I really mean it from the bottom of my heart. If you had any kind of contribution to this, thank you so much. I really mean it. Okay. Um, because it's about warning people. That's what this has all been about. All been about. If I have, if I've asked for some donations because I needed it to get out to more people. And if I've done things that people don't like, you know, like saying this is completely solved and all that kind of stuff. It's all been for a reason and it's been completely legitimate, even though people can't see marketing and how that works. And even it's completely true in, in the ways I'm explaining it. Um, and if you can't see that, I'm sorry, but I'm, I've done whatever it takes legally, morally, ethically to do, to get to as many people as possible. If you don't understand that, then I'm sorry, I can't help you. And I will ask, I answer to one person and I will answer to him in the future. And that's my Lord Jesus. So I'm confident with what I'm doing and I, I will stand or fall in front of him. So, um, the 12 days of Christmas, also known as, um, 12 tide is a festive Christian season celebrating the nativity of Jesus. In most Western ecclesiastical traditions, Christmas day is considered the first day of Christmas and the 12 days are 25th, 25th of December through 5th of uh, January inclusive. Okay. <clears throat> Then this, the last day of the 13th day is called Epiphany, and I just Googled this and it stunned me. The, manifest, the first definition was the manifestation of Christ to the Gentiles as represented by the Magi, Matthew 2, 1 through 12, the festival commemorating the Epiphany on January 6th. The other definition is this one, a manifestation of a divine or supernatural being. Okay. I mean, I hope this is impacting you to some degree because we're talking about the manifestation of the Antichrist, and I believe he will show up after the destruction of the United States on the Epiphany. So we'll see how it plays out, but I'm not going to be here for that. So hopefully you're not either, but a lot, most of you will, unfortunately, because a lot of people won't believe this and a lot of people haven't really put their trust in Jesus, but you'll have opportunity to do that, but it will just be under some very severe, harsh situations and circumstances. So unfortunately, and I've been through this for years and obey God to, for any other way and other, any other possibilities and things, and what else can I do to warn people and stuff? And this is what he's given me. So Epiphany Eve 12th night holiday that or the 12th night also known as Epiphany Eve is a festival in some branches of Christianity that takes place on the last night of the 12 days of Christmas marking the coming of the Epiphany to give you a little bit more inside of what that is Epiphany Eve is January 5th for the most part and then Epiphany is January 6th again this is in Catholic tradition this is pagan beliefs inserted into so-called Christianity it's not real Christianity but it's been hidden that way. And Jesus was not born on 1225. He was born in the fall. Um, the shepherds weren't out on the field in the in the winter time. There's so many things in the Bible about that. And I'm not going to get into all that. Okay. Um, Twelfth Night. Imagine this. Or What You Will is a romantic comedy by William Shakespeare. Now, this is really crazy because Twelfth Night um, is supported. The idea of the Twelfth Night is not only Catholic, but it's also um, in culture, for example, like Shakespeare. Um, and this is very demonic as in, I'm going to get into this, but also, um, I want to make this very clear. It's called 12th night or what you will. So the first commandment of the satanic Bible is do what thou will shall be the whole of the law. And this play is called 12th night or what you will. So do what you will. And that is a nod from Satan to do whatever you want. Don't don't do anything. Don't uh, have any constraints like commandments or 
or you know morals or anything like that do whatever you want whatever you feel like doing do that and that's the first uh, commandment of the satanic bible do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law and that's what this is basically saying okay um is in this so this do without or this 12th night or what you will is a romantic comedy by shakespeare believed to have been written around 1601 to 1602 as 12th night's entertainment for the close close of the christmas season the play centers on the twins viola and sebastian who are separated in a shipwreck oh there's so much to that shipwreck okay viola who is disguised as cesario falls in love with duke orsino who who in turn is in love with Countess Olivia. Upon meeting Olivia, Countess Olivia falls in love with her, thinking she's a man. So this is where we get into a lot of crazy stuff that's been going on lately with you know, gay marriage and all kinds of stuff and the bending of genders. Um, you know, genders represented... The, the enemy wants um, two genders in one body, in a sense. Um, or gender confusion and all kinds of stuff. Um uh, this is crazy. All, let's keep going with this idea. But here's uh, something that's represented in iPad Goat. An apple cleft in two or cut in two. In Twelfth Night, this spelling is literally true of Viola and Sebastian. The play opens with their separation in the shipwreck and closes with their reunion. In Act 5, Antonio echoes the language of the symposium when he remarks of them. Have you... how? How have you made division of yourself? An apple cleft in two is not more twin than these two creatures, which is Sebastian. Um, my point is that the cleft in two is kind of representing what is coming. Okay, the, this the Antichrist, who's the, who iPad Goat is really about revealing the Antichrist, is another reason why the apple is cleft in two, and you have this duality in him as uh, both ma ma masculine and feminine and stinky bo has feminine he's effeminate um his so-called wife is a man um and all this stuff okay and that actually that's what the bible says he will have no interest in women no no affinity to women um about the antichrist and that's what he is so um, also, Plato talked about an apple cleft in two, finding our other half. At the party described by Plato, a character called Aristophanes delivers a fable explaining the origin of love. As humans, we are originally two creatures joined together with four hands, four feet, and two faces, and emotionally self and emotional self-sufficiency. There, there were then three genders, male, female, and androgynous. A mixture of two. Okay, we're talking about androgyny here, <laughs> which the British made very popular by males playing females all the time and blurring the two the lines in many ways. I mean, these are these lines are blurred in media, in um, in art, so called, for reason. So people go that way, and the enemy is more successful in people because they they don't have any morals, and they when you're when you're um, your mental and your emotional compass is gone, then you can do, you'll, demons can come in and out anytime they want, especially with, would have to do with sexual things. It's just crazy. So they, they just, you're like Grand Central Station for demons. It's just crazy. When we grew overconfident, the god Zeus punished us by splitting us down the middle, separating us into the forms we now recognize as human bodies and a permanent sense of loneliness and ink. Incompleteness, which can only be remedied by finding our other half. And so this is a way of saying, hey, it's okay to have, you know, two sexes together and, you know, doing the whole, this whole thing. The story explains gender and sexuality with the detail that these other halves vary. Those who begin as half male, half female creatures will be attracted to their heterosexual other. Those who begin as two males or two females will accordingly be searching for their homosexual other. And again, so it's introducing in, you know, um, in thought, I have example of Plato and example of Shakespeare. So you have thought or, you know, um, what do you, I'm trying to think of what to call it, uh, you know, in our, in culture in different ways um, and in um, uh, entertainment and art. And so anyway, um, I, I'm losing my, what I'm trying to say here anyway. Uh, so here, for example, here's Obama. He's winking at you. And that wink to me, it means a couple things, but I've immediately noticed that wink and it reminded me of this.
male and female. I'm winking at you. Wink. It's also, I know something you don't know, um, that, and things like that, but this is really crazy. It really stuck out for me that this, this is a big part of what's underlying here. The spiritual undertones of this, um, little, 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 little wink. Okay. Um, another thing I want to throw out here is on the date, um, January 5th, which we're talking about being the final attack to the United States, fifth, fifth into the sixth, it just so happens that the Golden Gate Bridge was born, even though it's an not a living object. It was born on January 5th, 1933, um, which is just nuts. Um, and it, it's weird because 1933 is actually 1 and 9 is 10. Take the way 0 is 1. And 3 plus 3 is 6. So that's 16. That's 1, 6. So in a sense, we have 1, 5 and 1, 6 in the date. It's really right there. Um, and then if you go from January 5th, 1933 to January 5th, 2020, which is what I'm talking about, it just happens to be, if you include the day, and this is important, if you include the day, um, it's 31,777 days. And that's very reminiscent of what I was talking about, the Revelation 12 sign. From the Revelation 12 sign, as I was sharing in other videos, that was on uh, uh, September 23rd, 2017, to this Golden Gate alignment I've been talking about um, on uh, November 9th is exactly 777 days. And so that's no coincidence. This would have a 777 in there. Plus what's crazy about it, if you draw your attention to the bottom of that, where it says 87 years and one day. So what that means is on that day, it's the first day of the 88th year, which they're really into 88. And that's the transition time okay and going through the portal and that's what a golden gate is going through a portal there's a golden gate and the silver gate enemy is going to be kicked out of heaven through the silver gate jesus is going to come through the golden gate and get the faithful first um and so it also is january from J january 5th 1933 to january 6th when you don't include the day the first day to the sixth it's the same amount so if you include the day of january 5th or if you just add days from January 5th, then you, if you know what that means. If you know numbers, you know dates, you'll know what that means. So um, so it's really both, in a sense. And they like to play this game of two days, including the day or adding a day. Um, they like to play those two games. Um, actually, it's not just them. God does that, too, in different ways for different representations and different symbolism and everything. Okay, this is crazy. This is the Lord's perfect sign. Um, I've shared this in previous videos, but it's been a while, and I've looked for um, the match to this. And I've this person, I forget who it is now, the, their name, they did this work. I apologize. Um, uh, but basically, this is a perfect balance of these different eclipses and blood moons to a center point. There's a midpoint. And the midpoint is January 5th, 2015. And recently... Thank you, Sabine. She's uncovered even more amazing details of this that it have blown my mind. Um, in addition to that, we have not only do these things... If, so if you look here, for example, if you see these eclipses here and these eclipses here, from this midpoint, they have exactly the same amount of days separating them from this midpoint. And then same with these blood moons. And there's far more than these. These are just some examples. Over here are how these... Um, eclipses from one end to the other end are, are mirrors of each other in the way they sh showed the way they've shown up on the earth it's really crazy look at this i mean they're twins in a sense they're twins and again that shows a twin birth uh, it shows twins there's twins on the other side of a center point um, and this is just three of them. I'm just showing you as far as details. You can see how they, they're, you know, they're, they're mirrors of each other. It's like you put a mirror right here. Like I've talked about mirrors quite a bit. This is a mirror. This is a godly mirror right here, center point. And then these are perfectly balanced on either side, which is impossible. There's never been this mirror point, um, in history that, you know, especially that, uh, people have researched like this. I mean, this is, this is pointing to this one five January 5th, 2015 is a significant day. And so it's pointing to the actual birthday of the man child in heaven. And it's showing two, and I'm going to show you what this is showing. This is crazy, but let me show you some more of these. 
Look at these. Now look at each section of them. So this section here, there are two, and again, there's a midpoint right here. And you can even look these dates up, and you'll see there's exactly this amount of days from this date to this midpoint of 1-5-2015 to this date, and go backwards to 1-5-2015. And each one of these pairs has got a midpoint of 1-5-2015, or January 5th, 2015. All these, oops. Um, and that's, I haven't even shown all these. I mean, this is just a few. I can't show them all. I'll have a link in the description box and you can look, click on this article and look at all these if you want. And you can even look at the dates and compare them to that. It's, it's phenomenal. What this information shows, not only the dates from here and the, the, you know, the mirroring of the exact path of the eclipse, eclipses and everything, it shows that it's a, it was created that way. Okay, it's massive evidence for a creator. And if you actually don't believe in God or you tr have trouble believe, uh, following God, maybe it might help you to look at evidence to see this because there's so much evidence out there. There's so much oops, physical evidence and things that God exists. Okay, Wait, I don't know how that happened. One second here. Come on. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Okay, I flipped my phone a little bit because I was moving around a little bit too much. Um, there's so much physical evidence that's been stifled. Uh, there's so much archaeological evidence. I could do video upon video about archaeological evidence that's out there. It's just staggering of creation. It's just, and it's all been hidden. And the archaeologists that are basically um, finding most of this stuff are be, the ones who are finding the real stuff that prove the existence of, of intelligent design or God. They're stifled and shut up and, you know, they don't, they, they don't make the light of day for the most part. And there's so much. Anyway, um, then we have, I'm just going to pick one of these, for example, to show you, for example, how this works. This is really crazy. So you see how these are kind of twins of each other or mirror images of each other, the way the path of the eclipses were. Okay. And then there's even more how these are twins of each other uh, or mirrors of each other. So look at that as being the center point in a sense, this line. Okay. Which is again, January 5th, 2015. So over here from when this happened, which was uh, May 31st, 2003, um, till, uh, January 5th, 2015 is exactly. And I wanted to put it in days only. So you see it's all the way to the day. It's 4,237 days to the day. Look on this side over here. So we're on this side. Now we're over on this side and how many days from the midpoint of January 5th to 2015 to August 12th, 2026, Whoa, yeah, another 4,237 days. Imagine that. That's impossible. That's impossible. And for the, the, those to look exactly the same, pretty much, to be mirror images of each other, that's only can only be designed. That's, yeah, that's freak chance of nature. No. Then you don't understand any of that stuff. If you think that's all by chance, you don't understand anything logical, anything scientific at all. You're not looking at the truth. You're not acknowledging what the truth really is. And you have an ax to grind or you're afraid or whatever it might be that's stopping you from knowing the truth or walking in the truth or believing the truth. Okay, this is right in front of your face. I have link, I'll have a link in the description box to show you all these things. You can look at them and there's no way they could be. Um, the, it's mathematically off the charts way off the charts each one each example like this example is way mathematically off the charts it's impossible and then we have all these other examples okay so also from center point to the day of 2015 which is january 5th 2015 to the day i'm talking about being the attack day of january 5th 2020 which is really still 2019 technically but i'm saying what everybody knows it as is five years exactly which also can resent, uh, represent uh, five years of 12 months each is 60 months. So in a sense, it could represent 6,000 years of human existence in a way, or 60, 100-year periods or something like that, or just five years of grace because the number for five, five is the number for grace in the, in the Bible and in God, biblical numerology is the number of five is the number for grace or God's given a certain amount of grace from this time period for people to turn away from their sin before tribulation would start. And I believe that's going to be the technical start of the tribulation, January 5th slash, 5th slash 6th. It's probably going to be roughly in the United States, maybe around midnight. <laughs> 
because Amer- the United States is going to kick it off for the destruction of the U.S. being the destruction of Mystery Babylon, the Bible says, in Revelation 17 and other places. Um, and in the prophets and Jeremiah and all that kind of stuff. So um, this is crazy. It's about to happen. And then you have, so that's from the center point. And then from the, the last blood moon, which I witnessed, and around, around this time right in here is when the Lord was really... Um, showing me visions and dreams of what's coming and then i've watched this and i was like oh this is coming i thought it could be any moment but it ended up taking this long it's crazy um and all the evidence is pointing to this time it's just really nuts so from this last uh, um, blood moon on which was a super moon um, which is just magnifying as big till january 5th i'm talking about is um 1561 days why is that important that's 223 weeks so that's uh 223 weeks or seven days uh, you know pairs of seven or, or groups of seven so that's really important 223 is the attack day um that's why a lot there's a lot of predictive programming on august 11 or 8 11 or 11 8 11 or 11 8 or 118 that i've been talking about because August 11th was the 223rd day of the year. I mean, these are all a bunch of codes they use to secretly point to the actual days. And so this is why they've used 223 ultimately, okay? Because they rip off what God's timing is and when he's going to do things and they make it their own and everything. And so he did all this in the stars and sun, moon, and stars and all that kind of stuff. And then they rip it off. And there's, here's one example of that. Okay, so we also have from the center point, look at these white arrows from the center point. They're pointing to these, the first and the last um, blood moons here on this tetrad. Okay, and this, those just happen to be exactly perfect as well, of course. Okay, not only are these blood moons um, on also Jewish, the first and the last feast days of the year, which is impossible as well. So the first blood moon was right here. And it was on Passover. And then this blood moon was on Sukkot in 2014. Then in 2015, this one was on Passover exactly on that day. And this was on the last feast day of Sukkot, which is impossible. So this is impossible, just these themselves being on these um, holy um, days of, on the Torah calendar or whatever. Okay, that's impossible. Okay, but here's more impossible than what I've already showed you. From the center point out to these, the first blood moon and the last one of the blood moon of this tetrad, they're both 266 days. Now, if you know anything about, I've had, uh, me and my wife have been pregnant three times with four kids. <laughs> um, that is conception, the fertilization of the egg by the sperm usually happens 266 days before the due date, and the due date is calculated 266 days after ovulation conception and fertilization so from so from from conception we have the average birth is 266 days so that's showing a twin birth or yin and yang twin birth so a good birth and a bad and a bad birth like i'm saying that's in the sky that's in the stars in the sun moon and stars show the twin twin birth that i've been talking about this whole time my whole point of my channel was there's two births that are going to happen. And then I just so happen to have twins. I was talking about twin births. Uh, the person right next to me making this noise. Okay, anyway, I was talking about twin births way before I had my last set of twins. or <laughs> Well, my only set of twins. Um, before we were even pregnant, I was talking about twin births. And then God just, boom, twins. Um, it's just crazy. So pretty blown away by that um i hope that makes sense okay then let me look, show you this so from september the date of september 11th i'm just going to use this year for example so you can see the amount of days uh, from that from september 11th to january 5th is 116 days okay this is crazy because 116 and i've seen this many times 116 all over the place is 9 11 backwards and upside down upside down and backwards Okay, also 116 days is 58 plus 58. And we're talking about 58. With the Antichrist, who's 58. And Trump, who's Mr. 58. And 58, 58, 58, 58. And then from the birth to each tack, major attack day is 58. I mean, it's just it's ridiculous. Okay, and then we have from September 11th to January 6th, 
um, is 117 days. 117 has been all over the place. A lot of things and 711 backwards, everything as well. And then if you include the day from September 11th to January 6th, you get 118 days. And I was just talking about 118. You know, for example, uh, August 11th or the 11th of August being the um, 223rd day of the year. Okay. And I've talked about this so many times on attack days, how in all my videos, I'm not gonna get into all of it here, but it's just crazy. This is just these numbers, these codes, they're everywhere in this. Okay. And I want to talk about this here about January, the ancient Roman religion and myth. Janus is the God of beginnings, gates, transitions, time, doorways, passages, and endings. He is usually depicted as having two faces since he looks to the future and to the past. It is conventionally thought that the month of January is named after him, but according to ancient Roman farmers, Almanac, farmers almanacs juno was the, the tu, tu, tutelary deity of the month in roman uh, religion janus presided over the beginning and ending of conflict and hence war and peace as well so this is crazy um <laughs> um use this two-headed guy that looks both directions it just just happens to be when this is all going to happen in january which is based on this guy janus symbolized change and transition such as the progress of future to pass from one condition to another, from one vision to another, and young people's growth to adulthood. He represented time because he could see into the past with one face and into the future with the other. Hence, Janus was worshipped at the, the beginnings of the harvest and planting times, as well as at marriages, deaths, and other beginnings and endings, ending life events. These aspects also connect him to the end times we're in. Yeah, because it's January. Because January is the 11th month. Okay, and this is super significant because what's 11? What's 11 here? Okay, by the way, what's coming, these different attack days are really the real 9-11. The 9-11 that we know, know from the past, um, you see those two towers, they're in 11. And so they're showing what month this would happen, which is January, really the 11th month in actuality is what it really means and it's the transition time based on that god that they put in our i mean our days of our weeks are based on gods monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday i mean it's, it's crazy and then our months are well i mean they're kind of uh some of them are so anyway it's very bizarre it's very um sick and everything I hope you see that now then here we have this really uh crazy christmas card from Captain Walter M. Slaughter. M stands for Max. So his name is Walter, which sounds like water. Walter, water, Walter, water. Just take the L out. Water, Max, Slaughter. You know, it, you know it, it's nothing weird or anything, right? Um, please. Um, and then if you look at this crazy picture and this card that he sent the family members or emailed it or whatever, it's really crazy. I mean, there's so much in this. Maybe you'll see stuff I don't so far. I mean, there's a few things I, I'm not going to get into, but there's so much in this. I mean, this um, uh, first thing is here's 72, which re re represented, uh, which represents the Lincoln 72. And then this guy who is, is shooting with his fingers like a gun, which is also in front of the nose cone looking like a missile shooting at 72 is they're all their, um, their, their um, imagery in here, their predictive programming right here. You don't think so? Well, let me show you more. Okay, and then this is all their stuff with Christmas. Um, and if you notice, this guy it doesn't he? It says shooter on the back here, but and I'll show you what these guys are. And this is so crazy that they set this up, um, you know, years ahead of time for this time, so they can get away with this and and predictably program all this stuff. There's nothing on his back right here. This guy is in a, a Santa costume. It's there's so much to Santa and what it really means. It's an anagram of Satan. Um, it's sacrifice. It's all kinds of crazy stuff. Man, this lady right next to me is opening and closing doors like there's no tomorrow. Wow. I'm in a parking lot and this person parked right next to me and they're opening and closing, getting in and out of... Wow. That's okay. Anyway, and then a catapult, a Navy catapult officer is called a shooter. I mean, and then here you go. Here's another one. Where it's perfectly what I showed you just before with that other picture. It's perfectly lined up. This is like a missile. The nose cone becomes a missile with the shooting. 
Okay, he's a shooter. It's a missile. And then this just, just so happens to be what? 115, which is January the 11th month and the fifth day. You know, it's not just that this is just a shooter guy, a guy who's a catapult officer called a shooter, but that his hand is shooting something to kill something or shoot something. And then this nose cone becomes like a missile to attack. And then this is the attack day, the final nuclear attack day of the United States. Right here. I mean, this is all predictive program. These they set this stuff up for years and years and years ago to mean these things eventually. I mean, it's really crazy when I, all the stuff I thought about that's in our culture and so many things that we regularly do has been set up for this time that's coming and is almost here. It's it's mind blowing. I'm having all these epiphanies, <laughs> epiphany, yeah, all these things going off in my head. I'm like, and Lord, show me this, 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 that, this. This is all set up for this and that. And I, it, and it, it's just, it's kind of sickening actually, because most of what we believed in our lives was lies. And, I, and I'm, I, I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of it. I can't wait to go. And by the way, when we disappear, Jesus takes us the, the faithful bride into heaven we're coming back and we're going to kick some butt in the tribulation and help a lot of people. So I hope more people come. Um, and submit themselves to Jesus because that's what's happening. And I'm coming back to fight. I'm not going to heaven just to hang out on a cloud and play a harp. No, I'm going, what I've studied the word and search out the word and, and the Lord Jesus has guided me to is to understand that I'm not only helping people right now and warning people about what's coming. When I, when I go to heaven and I get a new body and I come back, or I'm going to come back as one of his arrows as it talks about in the Bible, in the in several prophets uh, in the Old Testament, that we're going to be his arrows. And that's why Sagittarius is shooting at the scorpion, because we're going to come back and shoot at the scorpion. And Jesus is the one in the white horse with the arrows. So anyway, and also the Antichrist is in there too. He's the false white horse guy, but Jesus is the real white horse guy. So anyway, this is crazy. Back to this thing again, this ridiculous, okay, this lady has finally stopped going in and out of this vehicle like 20 times. I don't know if you heard that or not. I can't believe it. I mean, I literally can't believe it. I tried to find a place. I'm driving with this vehicle and still working a little bit um, because I have to still. Um, I couldn't believe it. I can't believe it. It's like she went in and out of this car like 20 times and she parked right by me in the back of a parking lot. It's just, it's unfathomable. I mean, talk about attack. I mean, what what would possess somebody, hmm, I wonder, hmm, Satan, to do that when there's no cars around me and then go in and out of this car and I'm while I'm doing a video. Oh, hmm, all right. How convenient. Okay, anyway, here we go. Oh, back to the reality here. Okay, here we go. Um, So, oh, let me show you this before I do that. So down here, underneath the thing, you notice that the little thing of the USS Abraham Lincoln ship is made into a sleigh with little reindeer. And then, then I noticed, as I've talked about many times, how there's plays on words in English all over the place for control by the enemy. Um, we have sleigh. So the, down there at the bottom there, there's the USS Abraham Lincoln as a sleigh with reindeer. And sleigh sounds exactly like slay not only are they shooting with the gun with his hand it also is in front of the nose cone which looks like a missile at 72 but it's also a slay which sounds like slay which is kill a personal animal in a violent way to slay and it's so funny it says saint george slew the dragon <laughs> and he even uses an example of a dragon in this google search of slay it's just like what of course, of course it is. Of course, I live in this bizarro world <laughs> where I get things that most people don't, and it's just really bizarre to me. Um, okay, moving on. Um, and then check this out. So he, what he's shooting at, you know, he's shooting at 72 right here, and it's a missile at 72. But when is he shooting at it? It's 101, which is one January 1st. They're showing the date right there. There's so many in there. And then what's really on his back, which the shooters, most of the time, they just say shooter. Maybe they have a little thing on here. But right here it says, mess with the best. Get shot like the rest. 
I'm so tough and cool and everything. And I've got this guy skull with a beard. No, it's, <laughs> it looks like a skull with a beard, actually. Uh, but it's a skull with a really low jaw, which is really trying to look like a beard. Um, and that's on his back. But it's all for this photo op. This is all for this predictive programming to go out to all these people that get this and whoever looks at the media and in whatever accounts of everything you got Santa, you know, they're going to be slain because you got white. It's a white, white and red, like in target, for example, the, the, the store target is about target is a bull's eye. And the eye of the bull is where they put the sacrifice and then sacrifice has to be clean and white and purified. So that's what white is. And then red is blood. So, Target, the store you go to, Target, anybody goes to, is a bullseye because it's the bull of Moloch and sacrifice of children at the bull's eye. I mean, it's just sick. Everywhere I go, it, there's this stuff everywhere. And eventually, that that stuff that was predictive programming for so many years is going to turn into reality at some point. And they are going to try to sacrifice kids to Moloch. But thank God, God's going to remove the innocent children before the tsunamis, I believe, on January 3rd slash 4. Anyway, moving on. Then we have, so that's that's one, one, one. So we have the transition of tonight um, or, you know, when I'm doing this right now is during the daytime. Um, uh, Christmas Eve into Christmas Eve. Wow. New Year's Eve into New Year's. And that's this symbol right here in, in uh, iPad Goat. Then we have, so we have this guy and he has that skull with a top hat on representing this guy right here and i just showed you that the plane had one one on it 101 which is one one and then there we go and then check this out this is really crazy when the lord pointed this out to me 1231 is one plus two plus three plus one which is seven and that's one day of the transition from new year's eve and then we have new year's day which is one plus one which is two and so seven and two are 72 as in U.S. Abraham Lincoln, 72. Okay, and this happens to look like Lincoln, dead Lincoln, with a top hat. There's Lincoln, who was shot by a shooter. I mean, are you kidding? Hopefully you see this, people. It's right in front of your face, and you don't see it. I'm pointing it out to you. Please see this. Please wake up to the reality before it's too late. I beg you. I beg you. I beg you. Moving on. Then what I'm saying about the Truman will be over here, somewhere over here, because this eclipse that was the birth, okay, uh, which Barack Obama's right there on the 1212. <laughs> I mean, you can't make this stuff up, people. Only demons can. I mean, I can't make this stuff up. And I, I have some, you know, moments of brilliance. I can't make this stuff up. It's too intricate. It's too crazy. It's too... Here's this lady again going in and out of this thing. Wow, I'm just moving on. If you hear thumping and bumping in the background, it's some insane person that's just... They got to go in and, in and out of a vehicle right next to me when there's no one around for some reason. Anyway, moving on. Okay, um, but then right here, so the Abraham Lincoln is right in here, and I'm going to show you this in a second. It's going to be right up here, I believe, and then right here is Korea, and they're going to shoot him with a missile, and that's the Christmas gift that Kim Jong-un prom promises if we don't meet this deadline by tonight of removing these crippling sanctions that Trump is supposedly doing, right? Again, this is all a theater, so we don't know what's really going on, but whatever was presented to the masses is what is truth and reality to most people. Okay, so I'm talking about what the theater is, the the acting, the the so-called reality, you know, the the false reality is pulled over your the wool that's pulled over your face that most people believe. Okay. So, Here's the latest tracker that ha that was put out yesterday. So it shows the Truman right here in the path. Like there you go, right there. There it is, right there, right in there. Okay, and then it shows the Abraham Lincoln still on the path. And I'm going to show you this in a second. Okay, there it is, and it's going out to here. It's right here. And guess what? From when it was yesterday, it's about a day and a half to two days to being at the end of this thing. And check this out. So here's the end of the path. We got Indonesia, Papua New Guinea right here, Philippines up there. Here it is. And I did an overlay of that tracker 
and I did it right here. Boom. See, and it went right on top. And look at the spot where the Abraham Lincoln is, that little, that little, you know, diamond looking thing. It's right on the eclipse path. Ooh, it's just a coincidence. It's a massive coincidence. Okay, and then from there, it's about a day and a half to two days, which this came out yesterday, to get to this point here. It's about 1,100, almost 1,200 miles right here to get from there to there. I, I checked it out and measured it, depending on the speed and everything, but it's about a day and a half to two days to get there. And so this is, this hitting, this is hitting all cylinders right now. And where, they're at, where are they at right now? Where are they at right now? See where they're at right now? And they're right on top of this right here. Where, where is that? So like I shared before, it's the cab of, uh, the cab, wow, the crab of cancer represented in the island of Papua New Guinea slash underneath the water in the formations under the water that make this crab. See the crab shell right there? Look at this big claw over here. Look at this claw right here. Grabbing in its claw the island of Palau, which means mansion in that language. I forget the language. And then right here, it looks like a hand with a thumb of God pointing to this and by the way being in the crab claw is being in the beehive cluster and that's where the people who uh, you know would be taken by jesus the faithful will be um for a short time before we go to heaven it's like the meeting room it's just this is you can't make this stuff up i mean it's right there they are literally predictively programming saying that this is about to happen and they're right there there they are right there and that's where that is the la their last report before the attack that's going to happen over here. This is my best guesstimate by what I see, okay? Um, and it looks like it's playing out. Oop, I did it again. I moved my phone. I had to scratch myself, and then there you go. Okay, let me try this again. Okay, okay. All right, here we go. Um, yeah. So this is crazy. Hopefully you get this and see what this is. I mean, it's about to play out here fully, I believe. Again, I could be wrong, but <laughs> I've never been so sure about this t these time frames as I am right now. Um, it's really crazy how so many things line up and everything I've been looking for is all finally fitting into place fully. And even the last, um, from November, December, you know, at this point, going into January, it all fits together. It's all a tapestry of stuff that had to happen to get to this point. It's all a meaning. It, it's so many meanings in there. Um, that everything was, um, anyway, moving on here. Okay. So this last thing I'm going to show you, this is, woo, is this crazy? And this is a Google doodle for today. And that's, this is my upside down, um, thumbnail that it said, um, can you see the attack or whatever? Okay. So you have to, of course, when Google does stuff, it's usually backwards or upside down, or upside down and backwards, that they hide all kinds of stuff. And I've shown it many times. Other people have shown things in Google Doodles and other things as well that they hide, these freaks that they hide. I, they're a bunch of jack wagons, really. I mean, all these people are jack wagons that, you know... <laughs> uh, anyway, so here we go. Turning upside down is the key to solving their craziness. Um, this is what jack wagons do, Okay. So, do you see this? I'm going to help you out. If you haven't seen it, you, you had a chance to look at the thumbnail. You have a chance to look at this for a second and pause this if you want. See if you see what this, what the attack here that's going on. This is really crazy. You won't believe this if you don't see this yet until you see it. It's really bizarre. So, that is a submarine right there. With this little share thing on this version. Now, it may be a little bit different on other versions or whatever, but I'm confident there's a lot of people that will have this version with this right here. It looks like a submarine. There it is right there. Okay. I'm telling you, it's right there. Believe it or not. And then we have, do you see the other attack? Right there. It's a submarine. And why is this a submarine? Let me look at this. Look at the top and look at the fin. Look at the top and look at the fin. This is a, you know, like a rounded cylinder thing. And then it's got a projectile shooting out of it. And it's pointed right to this spot right here where the explosion happens. Up and down right here. What is that right there? Can you see that? Can you see what that is? What is that? Oh, what could that be? Oh, it's just, just nothing? Are they, is this thing right here and shooting at nothing? And this thing right here shooting at nothing because it's shooting a torpedo at nothing? 
No, what is that? It's an aircraft carrier. It's right here. Where is it? Let me kind of line it out for you a little bit. It's right there. See that? You see it? There it is. Did it disappear? There it is. Look. There's an aircraft carrier right there. The right size of one. Boom. And it just so happened to be pointed to that. And it just happens to be explosions right there from the water. See, look, it looks like it's actually in the water somewhat right there. It looks like the water line kind of. And then there's explosions going this way and that way. And it, the missile the or the uh, torpedo is hitting right where that explosion is. And, of course, they show this thing on the water because it's got to kind of mimic water. You know, it looks like a part of an island over here and a part of an island over here, the reflection of the water. But this is all their deception. This is all their trickery to show predictive programming, to program you to predict what they're going to do in the future and to let you accept it in front of your face without even knowing it and giving them more power for it to happen step by step by step. More rituals, more predictive programming, more things for the, the world to follow their lead into death. I'm telling you, hope you wake up. I really do. I really hope you wake up before it's too late. And Jesus does too. And the only reason why I'm doing this at all is because I care about you and because the Lord has opened my eyes to a lot of these things, that, that what's coming, what's about to come. One, the last thing I want to say real quick, according to God's actual calendar, and I forgot to put this on as well, but I, it was going to take me a lot longer to do this. According to God's actual calendar, which is based on the sun, moon, and stars, I'm going to put a link in the description box. I should re remember to do that. Hopefully I do. <laughs> well, Put a link in the description box and maybe eventually have a link to show the actual how this works. But basically, 1212 um, this month was the ninth um, full moon, which is the beginning of the actual month. The, the new moon is really a full moon, according to what I know about the real the sun, moon, and stars and the word in the Bible. And I'm going to put a link in the description box of a YouTube channel of a guy that explains it very well, Michael Shabbat uh, Ministries. He explains it very well. You can look at any of his videos if you want to dive into this more. I've talked about it in the past quite a bit. But according to that, God's real calendar, I, I believe this is a real calendar, 1212 was the beginning of the ninth month, the ninth full moon of the year. And then up to January 3rd, which, which is third slash fourth is going to be the tsunamis, is ninth month, 23rd day. And the Lord told me almost about four and a half years ago in a dream 923 or 923 America is laid low. So these tsunamis are going to hit both coasts and they're going to cause all the faults that have been ready to go off any time to go off. We're going to have these massive earthquakes across the United States. Massive havoc America will be laid low. And then day and a half to 2 days later nukes attacking most of the major cities. Okay, you've been warned. I'm just telling you, okay? And Jesus wants you to come to him. He wants you to be saved. He wants you to come out of this before it's too late. So I'm just begging you to open your heart up to him and cry out to the Lord and and repent. Change what you've done in the past, you know, with him. He, he's your only possible hope of change, real change that's lasting for, you know, supernatural, everlasting life. And so I'm just introducing you to him. Um, he's the one that's given me the biggest things in the things that I present. I would never take credit for it, ever. Um, and then I'm trying to be the, just a human being putting this stuff together and guessing on time frames and all that kind of stuff. But he's given me things along the way, little nugget, gold nuggets and little breadcrumbs on the trail. Okay, that's what he does. And I'm just humble. I'm just humbly here to receive and just... That's all I can do and go through all the trials and all the <sighs> sitting here in a car, the back of a parking lot with some lady was closing doors like crazy, distracting, trying to distract me. I mean, I mean, God bless her, but I mean, good, good gracious. I mean, really every little thing to try and stop this from getting out anyway. So, um, I want to, uh, yeah, there it is again. Um, oh, wait, let me just hit this. So again, this is iPad goat showing the woman crying with the, uh, this is the um, death of, um, stinky B.O. 
which is also represented by death of two presidents here in her face, which I've explained before. And then these two monoliths here, because of the angles and everything, are the angles, both of these are angles of aircraft carriers. And the way they're shown, there's a distance between them, it looks like. So that would support the Truman. I'm sorry, the, the Lincoln, because up here is a nine sideways and defined by the, it's an outline of a nine right here sideways. Oop. Okay, and then down here is a 20, or 12, sorry. Um, it's one and two, the one sideways and the 12, one is up and down, the 12 sideways right here. And I've shown this before, and that's uh, 12 right here, which is Truman, which is 75. Seven plus five is 12. So these two are represented by this nine and this 12, and then the two aircraft carriers sinking that look like mountains or monoliths, but they're two aircraft carriers sinking. And I believe that would be on the eighth day of the Apple roll when the Apple hits Obama's foot, as I've shared in previous videos. And that is the eighth day because his foot looks like a um, submarine and Russian submarines are going to attack these two carriers. And then probably an attack on uh, Manhattan at the same time could happen. Um, and so somehow I believe... Um, uh, let me show you him right now. I call him Trumple Thin Skin. <laughs> Listen, I, I don't like mocking people, but, you know, Stinky B.O. on one side, the liberal side, and then, you know, the liar Trumple Thin Skin on the other side. I call him Trumple Thin Skin for a couple reasons. One is he's got the thinnest skin of any almost any leader I've ever seen in my life, and I think it's pretty much an act um, because these people are actors and they are fake. Um, and so he's, if he was real, he's got the thinnest skin out there of any leader I've ever seen. And that way, and that means he's the biggest immature baby that there is, that there is you that put your trust in him. You are going to be sorely upset. Okay. He is about to be taken out. Um, and so another reason why I call him, Trumple Thin Skin is because um, Rumple Stillskin is a character in in uh, fairy tales, and he is a fairy tale creature. Oh come on, that's, oh that's wait, hold on here. That's nice. Uh, yeah, that was my thing coming going off here. Okay, okay. Anyway, um, back to the video. <laughs> These distractions. Okay. So I call him Trumple Thinskin because of Rumple Stillskin, a fairy tale creature that basically promised people the world, but then got him. It was a trap. And that's him. He is Trumple Thinskin. He is a liar, a deceiver, and he will be saw he will be seen for what he is eventually. Okay, but he's going to be taken out of the way and eliminated you know, basically sweeping the legs out from under all the Christians and conservatives that have believed in him as a false answer for what Jesus can only do. And those of you that have followed him and know and believe in him, you're going to have all the legs knocked out from under you. They've put your complete trust in him. And this has been all designed to make, bring somebody who basically is going to save the day and who's tough and everything like that. And who appeals to all your animal -ness, and is not loving and good, really. Who always has a stern face and, and and all this stuff. I mean, give me a break. Okay? It's not real. It's it, All the evidence and all the predictive programming prove that he is not real. This is not... He is not good. He is not... I mean, if he was a Christian now, he would have never said that he never asked God for forgiveness. He just tries to do better the next time or whatever. Yeah, give me a break. Okay, so my point in this is that I made the, my point about Trumple Thin Skin. Also, Trumple is number 45, 45th president. So he is 45. He is nine. And Lincoln, the aircraft carrier, is 72. And I've shared this, shared this in videos in the last few videos or last, a couple of videos ago for sure. The connection and what, what I've really learned about how these two are connected. Lincoln and Trumple are connected. Okay, they're both... Trumple's four plus five is nine and Lincoln's seven plus two is nine. So they're both nine. And then who is in the middle? The dead president, um, Mr. Dead Bush. 
dead Bush is in the middle and he's a dead president. He was in the middle of the 99, even more impacting the idea that these both nines are going to be killed. So one's an, one's not a real physical living being, but it's just a personification of a person that died. And one's a real person, kind of a mythical creature. Um, so anyway, just, I made my point here and hopefully this makes sense to you because I'm at the end and I think I might be completely at the end of doing all this. So that's my summation at this point, but we'll see. Um, so brace for impact. You've been warned, or as I like to say, you've been served because Jesus wants to serve you because he cares about you. And so my desire has only been to serve people and warn them of what's coming. So you've been warned and you've been served. So thank you very much. And God may God bless you. And hopefully you turn your life over to Christ at some point, because it's the only way out of this mess that's coming. And this craziness is about to start. So this is exalted lamb one over and out.